prepare to have your mind blown. Incredible news out of NASA, it's historic. Hubble t Space Telescope has discovered the farthest individual star, nicknamed Arendelle. Have you ever pondered the potential of what lies beyond the night sky? The Hubble Space Telescope, which is operated by NASA, has been revealing mysteries about the cosmos for the last three decades. This finding has the potential to completely transform our understanding of the structure and function of the cosmos. The development of galaxies and stars might be better understood with the use of this information. It's also possible that it will assist us in discovering new kinds of celestial objects that we were previously unaware existed. But what exactly is the significance of this discovery? As a matter of fact, it's a confirmation of the significance of Chandra and its capacity to continue to deliver significant insights into the cosmos. In addition, it demonstrates that there is a great deal more that we have yet to understand about the cosmos, and that there are still a great deal of mysteries that are yet to be resolved. In the course of our ongoing exploration of the universe, who knows what other astounding discoveries are waiting for us out there. Now, let's find out more about this amazing telescope and what is so fascinating that it discovered lately. But before we begin, it would be beneficial for you to know more about the Hubble telescope itself and what it represents in the realm of astronomy. It's hard to believe that the Hubble Space Telescope has been in operation for 20 years, yet throughout that span of time, it has completely transformed our view of the cosmos. The Hubble Space Telescope has been awe-inspiring the globe with its photographs of space and its ability to provide a more in-depth knowledge of how the cosmos functions ever since it was first launched in 1990. Even though it's rather rolled and somewhat small in size, the Hubble Space Telescope continues to be considered one of the greatest telescopes in the world. With optics that are getting up to their third decade of usage, the Hubble Mirror, which is 2.4 meters in diameter, is relatively ordinary for current research telescopes. This is in comparison to the enormous 8 to 10 meter telescopes that are being constructed on the ground, and much bigger ones are planned for the future. On the other hand, it routinely surpasses several of the most powerful ground-based telescopes and is still regarded by many as the pinnacle of optical and ultraviolet astronomy. The demand for its utilization in research is far higher than the amount of observation time that's available each year. Here are some of its most notable characteristics. 1. Hubble has traveled a distance that is comparable to a journey to Neptune, which is the planet that is the farthest away from Earth in our solar system. It moves at a speed of 17,500 miles per hour. 2. The Hubble Space Telescope has traveled to sites that are more than 13.4 billion light years away from Earth in order to study the extremely distant past. And 3. The Hubble Space Telescope has made more than 1.3 million observations since it started its mission in the year of 1990. Inspect the cosmos via the lens of NASA's oldest telescope. An astounding revelation that transcends space and time is about to unfold, and you better buckle up. Just press the subscribe button, fasten your seatbelts, and come explore the cosmos with us. You won't want to miss the celestial surprise. We know that you want to find out the latest discovery of this fantastic telescope. But before we jump into it, let's have a look at some of the greatest achievements from the past. Why? Well, so you may have a better perspective on what it's capable of. So without further ado, let's get into it together. Hubble's success may be attributed in no small part to the fact that it's located at a high altitude above the atmosphere, which eliminates many of the factors that slow down ground-based viewers. Due to the existence of chemicals such as ozone in the upper atmosphere, ultraviolet astronomy is most difficult to accomplish from the ground. This is because these gases block ultraviolet light. As a result of this, as well as the absence of turbulent air currents that give the appearance that stars are blinking, Hubble is able to capture some of the most detailed views of our universe. The vision that Hubble provides us with when it shows us photographs in space is always of how things were at some point in the past during that time period. It takes light a considerable amount of time to cross the great distances that separated from the things that it originated from. Even with relatively nearby objects, the delay may be rather noteworthy. For example, the Andromeda Galaxy, which is our closest neighboring galaxy, can be seen in the same way that it appeared approximately 2.5 million years ago. 
It's because of this that telescopes such as Hubble function as time machines, which enable us to investigate the history of our universe. The following is a list of some of the most significant contributions to the scientific community. Number 1. All of Pluto's Relatives Hubble was able to study seasonal variations on the surface of Pluto, as well as find two new moons of Pluto that have been given the names Nix and Hydra. Additionally, the notion that comparable bodies may lie in the Kuiper Belt and beyond contributed to the reduction of Pluto and other objects of a similar kind to the status of dwarf planets. This was accomplished by assisting in the discovery of the mass of Eris, which is 27% more massive than Pluto. There's a possibility that future studies of such faraway asteroids may assist scientists in better comprehending the evolution of the solar system. Number 2. Dark Matter It's estimated that around 23% of the universe is composed of dark matter, which is concealed from view yet manifests itself via gravity. Hubble was able to assist in the construction of the biggest scale three-dimensional maps that scientists have of the distribution of dark matter across the universe. This was accomplished by examining the distortions that were introduced by the gravity of dark matter on light from distant galaxies. The clumpiness of dark matter has been shown to have risen over time, which indicates that it has conventional gravity rather than anything different. These helped establish that dark matter possesses gravity. If scientists had a better knowledge of how dark matter acts, they might be able to answer the question of what it truly is. Prepare to be amazed by the cosmos in a way you've never imagined before, as we go on to enumerate some of its previous accomplishments. A mind-blowing discovery has been made by NASA's oldest telescope, which has now changed the stars. Make sure you don't miss a moment. Click subscribe right now and come with us on this cosmic adventure as we explore space and discover its secrets. Number 3. Gamma Ray Bursts Gamma ray bursts are the most intense explosions that have ever been seen in the cosmos. They generally release more energy in a few seconds than the sun would emit in its whole lifespan of 10 billion years. For decades, the mysterious genesis of these explosions remained a mystery. These bursts often take place in galaxies that were actively creating stars and had a low metallicity, which means that they had a low amount of elements that were heavier than helium. Hubble was instrumental in making this discovery. This showed that gamma ray bursts originated as a result of massive stars collapsing into black holes. Galaxies that are actively creating stars are often abundant in massive stars that fall apart rapidly. And stars with low metallicity are more inclined to keep their mass and produce black holes. Number 4. Dark Energy Hubble may have contributed to the resolution of the mystery of how old the universe is by determining the rate at which the universe is expanding. However, it unexpectedly revealed an even more profound mystery, which is the fact that the rate of expansion of the universe is not slowing down or even remaining constant, but rather is inexplicably accelerating. The culprit behind this phenomenon, which has been given the name dark energy, is now believed to account for 74% of the total mass energy in the whole universe, and it continues to be a completely puzzling phenomenon. Finding a solution to this puzzle has the potential to completely transform the field of physics as we know it. Number 5. Comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 A stunning collision between the Comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 and Jupiter occurred in 1994, and Hubble was able to catch the impact in all its extraordinary splendor. The gravitational attraction of the enormous planet caused the comet to shatter into pieces, which resulted in 21 collisions that were visible to the naked eye. The strongest collision resulted in the formation of a fireball that reached almost 1,800 miles, or 3,000 kilometers, above the cloud tops of Jupiter. Additionally, it resulted in the formation of a massive black area that was more than 7,460 miles, or 12,000 kilometers wide, which is roughly equivalent to the size of the Earth. It was calculated that the explosion had the force of 6,000 gigatons of TNT. In addition to shedding light on Jupiter's atmosphere, the images made by Hubble not only increased public interest in the repercussions of cosmic collisions, but also clarified Jupiter's atmosphere. Now don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to the channel to receive updates on our latest videos. Enjoy! In the first billion years following the Big Bang, a fortunate cosmic alignment has shown the existence of a single source of light. This has established a significant confirmation for the James Webb Space Telescope, which is now in its first year of operation. Even NASA's mighty Hubble Space Telescope may benefit from some help, as proven by the most recent discovery, 
a record-breaking star that was so far away that it required a combination of the telescope's advanced gear and nature's natural magnifying glass in order to be seen. The star, which scientists have given the moniker Arendelle, began emitting light during the first billion years of the universe's existence. Hubble's previous record for the farthest distance traveled was set in 2018, when it discovered a star about 4 billion light years after the Big Bang. This achievement represents a great leap forward. Through a process known as gravitational lensing, Hubble was able to see through space that had been twisted by the massive galaxy cluster WHL 0137-08, which provided it with much-needed assistance. As a result of the bulk of the cluster, Arendelle was positioned on or very close to a ripple in the fabric of space. This ripple intensified the light of the cluster to the point where it could be seen by Hubble. A follow-up mission would be conducted by the James Webb Space Telescope of NASA in order to learn about the brightness, temperature, and composition of Arendelle. Despite the fact that the likelihood of Arendelle being one of the first-generation stars in the universe is very low, scientists are highly interested in the information it may provide on the atmosphere of the early cosmos. But what did it detect lately? Let's finally find out. The Hubble Space Telescope of the United States National Aeronautics and Space Administration has achieved a remarkable new milestone by seeing the light of a star that existed during the first billion years after the universe was created in the Big Bang. This star is the furthest individual star that has ever been seen to this day. When compared to the previous record holder for a single star, which was discovered by Hubble in 2018, this discovery represents a significant jump farther back in time. During a period of time that scientists refer to as Redshift 1.5, that star existed before the universe was around 4 billion years old, which is equivalent to 30% of its present age. As a result of the expansion of the universe, light from faraway objects gets stretched or shifted to longer, redder wavelengths as they travel toward us. This phenomenon is referred to as Redshift by members of the scientific community. At a Redshift of 6.2, the newly discovered star is so far away that it took its light 12.9 billion years to reach Earth. This means that it appears to us as it did when the universe was just 7% of its present age. Clusters of stars that are contained inside early galaxies are recognized as the tiniest objects that have ever been seen at such a large distance. Now before we see what some of the astronomers had to say about this amazing discovery, don't hesitate to subscribe to our channel, leave a like, and share the video so that we can smash that YouTube algorithm together. We almost didn't believe it at first, due to the fact that it was so much farther away than the previous most distant highest redshift star, said astronomer Brian Welch of Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore, who is the primary author of the research that describes the finding and is published in the journal Nature on March 30th. At the Space Telescope Science Institute, which is located in Baltimore, the finding was made using data that was obtained during the RELICS, Reionizing Lensing Cluster Survey program, that was conducted by Hubble. The program was supervised by co-author Dan Coe. According to Welch, normally, at these distances, entire galaxies appear to be nothing more than small smudges, with the light from millions of stars blending together. Through the process of gravitational lensing, the galaxy that is home to this star has been amplified and warped into a long crescent that we have referred to as the Sunrise Arc for short. Following an in-depth examination of the galaxy, Welch came to the conclusion that one of its characteristics is a highly magnified star that he referred to as Arendelle. The name Arendelle comes from the Old English phrase for morning star. There is a possibility that this finding may usher in a period of extremely early star creation that has not been explored before. Welch noted that since Arendelle lived so long ago, it's possible that it did not contain all of the same basic ingredients that the stars that are surrounding us now would have had. When we study Arendelle, we'll be able to get insight into a period of the cosmos that we're not acquainted with, but which was the source of all that we are aware of today. Welch remarked, It's almost as if we've been reading a really interesting book, but we started with the second chapter and now we'll have the opportunity to see how everything got started. Arendelle is estimated to have a mass that is at least 50 times that of our sun, and a brightness that is millions of times greater, making it comparable to the most massive stars that have ever been discovered. 
At such a long distance, however, it would be difficult to observe even a star of such a dazzling and extremely high mass without the assistance of natural amplification provided by a massive galaxy cluster known as WHL 0137-08, which is physically located between us and Arendelle. The cluster of galaxies has the ability to bend the fabric of space, producing a strong natural magnifying glass that distorts and substantially amplifies the light that comes from things that are located in the distance behind it. As a result of the extraordinary alignment with the galaxy cluster that magnifies it, the star Arendelle looks to be right on, or very near to, a ripple in the fabric of space. Optical experts refer to this ripple as a caustic, and it's responsible for providing the highest possible magnification and brightness. When compared to the rippling surface of a swimming pool, which, on a sunny day, creates patterns of dazzling light on the bottom of the pool, this effect is comparable. The ripples on the surface of the pool work as lenses, concentrating the sunlight so that it is as bright as possible on the bottom of the pool. Due to the presence of this caustic, the star Arendelle emerges from the overall brightness of the galaxy in which it's located. The brightness of it is magnified by a factor of 1,000 or more. It's currently impossible for astronomers to verify whether or not Arendelle is a binary star. Nonetheless, the majority of large stars have at least one partner star that is smaller than them. Space enthusiasts, please hold on. With a shocking new finding, NASA's oldest telescope has turned the cosmic script on its head. Do you want to be stunned? Get in on the first floor of a new way of looking at the cosmos by hitting the subscribe button right now. Besides the discovery itself, the telescope left astonishing pictures that will surely put you in awe. So let's see what they can show us. Number 1. A Peculiar Radio Galaxy This particular lenticular galaxy, which has been designated as NGC 612 by NASA, does not have the arms typical of spiral galaxies, but does have a common disk and center bulge. Amateur astronomers in the Southern Hemisphere may view this galaxy, which is situated in the Sculptor constellation and is roughly 400 million light-years distant from Earth. According to the organization, there are only five other galaxies like NGC 612, which show significant radio emissions and is classified as a non-elliptical radio galaxy. There are a few hypotheses about the source of those radio waves, but astronomers are hoping that new imaging techniques will help them narrow down the exact reason. Number 2. A Rosy Barred Spiral Galaxy Interstellar dust and thousands of star-forming regions are features of NGC 5068, another barred spiral galaxy, as reported by NASA. Despite being about 20 million light-years from Earth, this galaxy in the Virgo constellation is almost invisible to the human eye due to its very dim surface. According to the organization, the pinkish-red areas seen along the spiral arms of the galaxy indicate the presence of ionized hydrogen gas, which is the habitat of nascent star clusters. In an attempt to examine star formation in gaseous regions of nearby galaxies, NASA announced that this summer, the James Webb Space Telescope produced an infrared picture of NGC 5068. Number 3. The galaxy which is dominated by a supermassive black hole that resides in its heart. This intermediate spiral galaxy, which has been given the designation NGC 6951 and is said to be located in the Cephas constellation, has a lengthy and eventful history. NASA reports that after it achieved its peak star production some 800 million years ago, it was silent for 300 million years until it once again began producing new stars. There are 78 million light years that separate the galaxy from Earth, and it is possible to see it from the Northern Hemisphere. According to the agency, the supermassive black hole that is located at the heart of NGC 6951 is encircled by a circumnuclear ring that is made up of stars, gas, and dust that has been there from anywhere between one and one and a half billion years. Another thing that NASA said was that over the course of the last quarter century, scientists have recorded six supernovae that have occurred in this galaxy. They also mentioned that researching this galaxy may assist in shedding light on the cosmic settings that cause that phenomenon. And number four, swirling blue arms shimmer in this galaxy. According to NASA, the galaxy NGC 685, which is yet another barred helix galaxy, is somewhat more than half the measurement of our own galaxy, the Milky Way. Its arms have a shimmering blue color and swirl in a spiral pattern. 
It may be seen from the southern hemisphere on occasion, depending on the time of year, and it is situated in the constellation Eridanus, which is about 58 million light years away from Earth. According to the agency, the brilliant blue dots along its arms show star clusters that are bound together by the pull of gravity, while the reddish areas indicate the dust and gas from other galaxies that stars need in order to form. U.S. astronomer Edwin Hubble is the inspiration for the telescope's name. Although numerous objects were first categorized as nebulae, clouds of dust and gas, Hubble, who was born in 1889, found that many of these objects were really galaxies beyond the Milky Way. Between 1922 and 1923, he conducted these observations at the California Mount Wilson Observatory using the biggest telescope in the world at that time, the 2.5-meter Hooker Telescope. By studying galaxies, Hubble was able to deduce that the cosmos was expanding, which shocked astronomers and laid the groundwork for the Big Bang theory of the universe's inception. But what was the price tag for the Hubble Space Telescope? A price must be paid to be the most successful telescope ever. Total operating expenses for Hubble have surpassed $10 billion, with the only space telescope set to surpass it in terms of initial construction cost, which was over $2 billion. Nevertheless, the vast majority of astronomers believe it is a worthwhile investment, both for the world-class astronomy it enables and for the universal appreciation of astronomy that it will bring. Well, that's all for today, folks. We certainly hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click that like button and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you guys in the next one.